Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So this is an interesting video where we're gonna assume we have a firm with um, facing some particular demand curve, some market demand curve, some firm with market power. We're given the price elasticity of demand, we're given a marginal cost, and we, will find, we wanna find the profit maximizing price per unit. So suppose we have the following setup. Currently the price elasticity of demand is gonna be absolute value of epsilon is equal to four thirds, and the firm produces at marginal cost of a dollar. We wanna find the profit maximizing price per unit, and we wanna know what, what effect do we expect on the, on the price elasticity of demand over time if rivals enter? Because we're assuming we have market power, so what happens with entry? Well, you should be able to answer the first one, the second one pretty quick, right? We would expect with entry, demand's gonna become more elastic. Right? We're gonna have demand more responsive to price. Why? Because customers are gonna have additional options. One of the kind of key determinants of price elasticity of demand is the availability of substitutes. More rivals means more substitutes. So we'd expect uh, price elasticity of demand is gonna rise, it's gonna be something bigger than four thirds over time with entry. Okay, but let's find the profit maximizing price per unit. This is kind of the interesting thing. We need to use the following relationship. This is our percentage markup formula. See, this is this is markup, price minus marginal cost is the markup. Markup is defined as like price minus marginal cost. Dividing it by price makes it percentage markup. And this is equal to one over the absolute value of price elasticity of demand. Now, sometimes I like to write, rather than epsilon, I like to write eta. So one over eta. So you might, depending on uh, how I've approached this, you might be more familiar with this version of the formula we're just thinking of price elasticity of demand here. Uh, or we might actually see this version of the relationship. So price times the quantity one minus one over the uh, price elasticity of demand and absolute value is equal to marginal cost, right? This is marginal revenue, MR equals MC. So it kind of depends which version of the, which version of the relationship you'd be most familiar, familiar with, depends on kind of how you derive it. So if you begin from revenue and take the partial with, with respect to quantity, this more readily drops out. And if you take the partial with respect to price, this more readily drops out. Profits with respect to price, this more readily drops out if I remember, if I remember, if I remember how I've done this. Anyway, so, uh, right. Well, assuming we got to this point or assuming we got to this point and manipulated to get to this point, or maybe we don't, maybe we just work from this version of it. Either way, uh, so let's drop in the, the information we have. So here's price elasticity of demand. Well, that's awesome because we're gonna have one over this thing. So one over four thirds is just three fourths. Marginal cost is just one, so that's great. So actually kind of just staring at this, P, one, P minus one over P is equal to three fourths. Yeah, price is four, right? Because four minus one is three, divided by four, three fourths. Got it. And then the answer, over time with with uh, additional entry from rivals, we expect demand will get more elastic with entry for the reason that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. All right, go ahead and conclude here.